Hi guys. You guys are all unmuted for a minute because we don't have a lot of you on here yet. I see Emma. Hi Emma. Hi Rudy and Rosie. I see Gabriella. Hi Mom, I made the He knows your name. Ella. That's Ella. And Anna and Charlotte. Tiana. Oh, she knows your name. So raise your hand if you live in Florida. No, you don't live in Florida. You live in California. <laughs> Special. So, you know, what's the same place name right here? Special. What where do you live? Gianna, you live in Florida. Brittany, come here. The Brennan girls are getting on. This is so fun. Okay, let's go. Oh. Can you guys hear me echoing? Okay, Joel, where do you live? All right, so listen, we're going to get started now. But what I want you guys to do, I'm going to flip over to their side. I want you guys to have your moms or dads put your names in the chat section. Because then while I'm in the class or while uh, Ms. Allison's doing that, we're going to call on you guys. How's that sound? Okay, she might call on you guys. I'm going to put your names in. All right, is that Grace from California? Can you wave? I see Kinsley and Brinley. Awesome. I know most of you on here, but Mr. Andy is going to write your names down so then I can call on you and he might unmute you. This is a smaller group, so he might be able to unmute you, but we're going to go ahead and get started. We've got so much to do and it's only Wednesday. Um, parents, again, if you've noticed, there's a lot of curriculum in our kindergarten stuff. So I am going to be mixing up a little bit, maybe probably doing just a writer's workshop once a week since there's so much stuff to use. Um, Dash, I love that name, Dash from California. Um, and then we'll be kind of interacting and stuff like that. So we're going to start with our activities that you guys should have pulled out. Again, if you don't have the curriculum, you can go on our website to get them. Um, starting, this is the last week that we're going to offer the curriculum for free. However, you can get curriculum for eight, seven ninety nine for a month. So that's less than what two dollars a week for the curriculum. Or if you want to get it for the entire year, which makes it like ten cents a day um, a week, you can go ahead and do the fifty dollars for the year. I will be continuing classes during the summer, even if our school goes back into session. I'll be doing them in the afternoons um, because my kiddos won't need them because they'll be back in school. But if your child is going into kindergarten, I highly recommend you continue these classes so your kids are completely ready for kindergarten. Um, if you're a teacher, you know how important that is. So I'm thrilled to be able to continue at, um, uh, offering these. I would just recommend you do the $50 subscription for the year. And we are going to be using our kindergarten workbook in our um, su summer. So it's really kind of nice just to have that. It's $40 on the website. It's really nice just to have that right in front of you because I'm going to be using just the stuff from there for the entire summer, which is awesome. All right. So I need your help. You guys should have an activity that looks like this that has mixed up sentences. Put your thumb up if you've got it. You got that activity? Okay. Now I'm going to give you some tricks on how you can fix these sentences. And like 
at this point, you guys, a lot of what I do is I'm going to probably do like the first or two, first, first or two, first and second um, of every activity. And then we're going to move on because you guys are probably at the point where you can do it independently. So I want to give you some stuff to do for practice. Okay. So in this one, please can help me you. Does that make sense? No, that doesn't make sense. I can see Grace is saying that does not make sense. All right. So how I know what the beginning letter is. How do you think I know what the beginning letter, um, the, be the word that starts the beginning of the sentence is going to be? What does it always have, Brody and Aiden, what does it always have at the beginning of the sentence? Capital. Do you know? Capital. A capital letter, that's right. Um, which of these words, oh, Miss Karen, Brody and Aiden, tell me which word on your paper has a capital letter? P, P. Please? No, P. The word, do you unmute them? Hold up your paper for me for a second, guys, because I think I spelled mine wrong. They don't have that paper. Can you hold your paper up? They don't have one. You don't have it? Can. Okay, can is supposed to be capital. Miss Karen did not capitalize it. Okay, so we know that the word can is going to be the first word, right? So everybody write the word can on your paper, but listen, do you see those little red dots? That's because you need to try to squeeze your word in those, between those dots, okay? So can. And, okay. Who thinks they can tell us how you know which, act, which word is going to be at the end of the sentence? Let's see, Gianna, do you think you could tell us why, what is always at the end of a sentence? A period. A period, you're right. But Gianna, what is this? It's not a period, what is that? It's a question mark, good job. So I know that's gonna be the last word, right Gianna? Okay, so I'm gonna write the word me with a question mark. Write those names down for me so I can ask people things. Me with a question mark. Can blank me. Can, what word do you think comes next? So you guys now should have can. And if you don't have this sentence in front of you, this paper in front of you, you can just write it on a piece of paper. Can and me. Can help me you. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Ken, do you guys see the word Y-O-U says you? Do you see it on your paper? Point to it. Point it on your paper. Okay. This is what I like to do. When I use a word, I like to cross it out. So cross out the word can and cross out the word me. And now right next to the word can, you're going to write the word Y-O-U says you, but make sure you keep it within those dots. Can you, all right, Kinsley, which of the words that are left starts with the letter P? No, it's Kinsley and Brinley. It's the Brennan girls. Mr. Andy's gonna find you. Kinsley. Now we can count it. Yeah. Okay, which word starts with the letter P? Please. Please. Point it on your paper, girls. Awesome. Okay, can you guys write it with me? Please. Awesome. Can you please? Okay, Brindley, it's your turn. What word do you think I'm going to put right here? Do you see one last word? It's, do you see the word that starts with the letter H? Help. Did you say help? Put a thumbs up. She did. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so it's going to say, can you please help me? So everybody write the word help. 
All right. And moms and dads, if you didn't get your name on there yet, go ahead and add it to the chat because Miss Allison's going to be picking some of you as well. All right. Thanks, friendly girls, friendly girls. All right. Let's do the next one. Are you ready? The next one. Oh, who can tell me how do we know what's at the beginning of a sentence? Um, Asher in California. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the people. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Asher, wave to Mr. Andy. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have his camera. Oh, he doesn't have his camera. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and look. Boys and girls, do you remember what is the letter that, what word do we know goes at the beginning of the sentence? Because it has what? Gabriella. What does it have? What does the beginning of a sentence always have? A? O-O. A capital L. L. Yeah, so it has a capital L. Do you know what this word is? Let me say it to you. Look. Look. Look, good job. All right, so everybody get your paper ready. Even if you don't have it in front of you, get your paper. We're gonna write the word look. L-O-O-K. Oh, don't forget to underline that two letter phonogram. What two letter phonogram is on there? Oh, oh, I saw you do it, Gabriella. Good job. Look, so cross that out. Okay. What do we know is at the end of a sentence? A. Charlotte. What do we have at the end of a sentence? A punctuation. Is that what you said, a punctuation mark? Yeah, you're right. What punctuation mark is this, Charlotte? A period. A period, okay. So you guys are gonna write the word made at the end. Hey, Charlotte, I love your frog sight words behind you. Those are pretty cool. Thank They're so cute. Charlotte's from, Charlotte, are you from Canada? Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so look, and then we're gonna put made all the way at the end, you guys, after that last dot. And I think that's what you should do is just you tell me to call for that you can undo. Okay, so let's just finish this one so we can move on to the next activity. Look, do you see a word that starts with an A, you guys? Point to a word that starts with the A. Point to it. Okay, it's the word at. Good job, I see you. Okay, so after that first red dot, write the word at. Look at. Put your thumb up when you've done that. All right, point on your paper to the word that says what. Starts with a W. Put your thumb up when you found that word, what. Okay, go ahead and write it, W-H-A-T. This is a tricky one. Listen, guys. Do you see the two letter phonogram in the word what? It's the WH. Can you underline the WH in the word what? Okay, awesome. Look at what. Hmm. We only have one word left. Point to the word that we have left. What word is that? You can just say it. He. Yep. So you're going to write the word he. Now, do you notice when Miss Karen writes, because I'm focusing so much on my words, sometimes my letters get a little sloppy. Do your letters get a little sloppy when you're writing? And the reason for that, you guys, is because you're focusing so much on writing that you forget to focus on how to form the letters the right way, which is okay. But that's when the letters try to trick us. They're like, these kids are so focused on sounding out words and writing big words. They're not gonna like think about that they have to write us nice. So we're not gonna let them trick us on the next activity. Okay, if you guys have the um, activities in front of you, go ahead and get it ready because Mr. Andy's gonna tell me who to call on. 
Mine looks a little different than yours, but it had, and I meant to put the bigger pictures, but it's the one that has these um, boxes, these pictures. I think it says like CVC switcheroo. I've never done this activity. Brody, Emma, Anaya, have you seen this activity in our classroom yet? No. We were going to start using this stuff because this is part of our third quarter kindergarten stuff. I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe use the first grade workbooks with this group during the summer because I think the kindergarten might be too easy for you. Okay. This is kind of different. Okay. And I've never done it before, so it might take me a minute because I, I make a lot of stuff. And then when I'm inside I make it, I'm like, I don't remember what I was thinking about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the first word and then we're going to switch the beginning sound and make a new word. So I'm going to do the first one for you. My word is a b point to that or i'm sorry s a b point to the sub on your paper okay look at the cards that you have do you see a word that if you just switch the beginning letter it makes a new word i'm going to say the sound and then mr andy's going to call on someone the word i'm thinking of is the word s a b i'm being silly again the word I'm thinking of is t a b. Do you see that card? Hold on. Anaya, what word am I saying? Yeah, I see Grace is holding it up. No, Charlotte, right? Charlotte from Canada? Yep. Anaya. You got her? Hi, Anaya. I miss you. Okay, so if this is the word sub and we switch the first letter, what word would we make? Um, Say it. T -a -b. T -a -b. What word is that? Tub. Right. So you guys find your word tub and write the word tub in here. Do you see how this works? We are just switching the first letter. Anaya, stay with me, because I'm going to have you do the next one. So write the word tub and put your thumb up when you've got it. OK. This is the word. What is that? I got it. All right. This is the word app. What's that word, Anaya? App. Yep, okay. Anaya, look at these words over here. You, you should have them in front of you, but if you don't, look here. Which of these is a different word if we just switch one of the letters? So we're looking at the word cap, map, or fan. Which of these is the same word except for the beginning letter is switched? Cap and map, or cap and fan? Which one, Anaya? Cap and map. Cap and map. Good job. All right, so you guys find your map and go ahead and write. Mmm. Ah. This is a hard activity. It's kind of challenging for me, even Miss Karen. Okay. I'm calling somebody else. Okay, Anna. Anna's in Michigan. Hi, Anna. Hi. Is it cold in Michigan? Well, we did get some snow. You did? You got snow? Oh my goodness. We don't see a lot of snow ever in Florida. Okay. This is your question, all right? The next one is the word mug. Do you have the papers in front of you, Anna? I have a paper. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. So, Anna, if I am going to switch just one letter, Mug and bug or mug and cups. Which one would be the right one if I switch just the beginning letter? Mug and bug or mug and cups? Mug and bug. You're right. Good job. Okay. Mug and bug. 
So everybody get your word. I'm gonna hold it up for you that need to see it spelled. B. Uh. G. Okay, Anna, I'm gonna give you one more. Okay, you ready? You ready, Anna? Yep. Okay. All right, the next word. Oh, I don't even know what this is, you guys. Um, oh, you know what? It's a lab, like a science lab. All right, so Anna, I'm gonna say kind of word game, ready? Okay, my word is lab. Say that. Say lab. Lab. Okay. Now say lab, but change the beginning sound to the k sound. Cab. Oh, so good. So if we say lab and we change the beginning sound to k, we've got the word cab. Kiss your brain. Go and kiss your brain. All right. So our word is cab. <laughs> now, boys and girls, I'm going to let you finish this on your own. Um, well, let me see what my next activity is. Um, I think we have time. All right, let's keep going. My word is hot. Pick somebody else. Let me, Ken Kenzie. Everybody say hi, Kenzie. All right, Kenzie lives in Rhode Island. How exciting is that? All right, Kenzie, this is the word hot. My word is hot. I still don't see her. Oh. Hmm. Kenzie, we'll come back to you because I think you're not muted. But let. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Kenzie, say hi. Hi, Kenzie. All right. So, Kenzie, listen. My word is hot. If I change the beginning sound of hot, it would make the word, listen to my word, hot. What's that word? Cot. Cot. Did you say cot? Give yourself a thumb up. Okay, so boys and girls, this is the word you're gonna put. So in, right next to the word hot, we're gonna write the word cot. Hey, Kenzie, I'm gonna have you do one more after we're done. C O. T says cut. Okay. All right. You ready, Kenzie? Okay. Kenzie, my word is bit. Say bit. Bit. Okay. Now, if you take away the b, b, b sound and you add the s, s, s sound, what word does it make? Listen to my word. It. It. Look at my word. What is he doing? S sit. Yes. Great job. All right. So, boys and girls, this is the word that we're going to write right here. It's going to be the word sit. Ready? S. I, 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 I. T, 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 t. All right. Great job, Kenzie. Okay, let's get the last one done really quick. My word is, let me see. My word is pan. Pan. If I take away the P and I, and I put the sound, what word would it be? Fan. Did you guys say fan? Okay, so where it says pan, we're doing that beginning sound switcheroo and we're making the word fan. All right, now parents, what's gonna be nice is there's so much stuff in the kindergarten curriculum that next week, I'm gonna do a lot of the activities that I'm not modeling on here so that your kids can do it independently at home because we've done it here. So like these activities will be in the extras and that your kids can do it separately. And then I'll go and the things that are in the extras this week are the things that I'll actually model. All right, the last one is the word pig. Point to the word pig. My word is pig. If I take the way the and I put the what word would it be? 
wig. And guys, remember, look at my hand. My W makes the same thing. Down, up, down, up. Write the word wig. W, I, G. And listen, guys, if I'm going too fast for you and you can't get the words um, done at the same time that I'm doing them, don't get frustrated. Just follow along as much as you can. Maybe just watch. So then when we're done, you can be like, okay, now I know how that I can do, I can do that activity and you can do it on your own. So if I'm going too fast, I can't really see you all. And I don't know if I'm going too fast, but I definitely don't want you getting frustrated, okay? All right, our last activity, we're gonna call on somebody. I've got some missing words. Did, have you guys heard what happens to my room? So this is my office, which is now a classroom. And I think you guys have heard this before. And listen, my kids in my classroom, they can tell you this never happened at school, which is why I think it's one of my cats that does this. So what happens is every morning I get up, I make my tea, I come upstairs, I get everything ready for the day, I make all my charts are all filled in, and then I go downstairs, I walk the dogs, and I come up here, I'm ready for my class, and oh! There are missing things on my charts every time. And then I'm like, how am I supposed to teach this class when I have missing things? But then I'm so glad that you guys are here because you can help me, right? Okay, who is ready for Mr. Andy to call on him? Nicholas. All right, Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. Hi. Say wave to your hand. Hi, where do you live? In California. California. I'm so jealous. I love going to California. All right. So, Nicholas, I'm going to need some help. Can you help me with this first sentence? Yes. Okay. So, the first sentence says, blank met the, oh, boys and girls, what is T-H-E? It's a trickster word, right? Okay. Everybody circle it. Blank met the blank vet. Hmm. Nicholas, what word do you think I'm going to put first? I'm going to give you a clue, Nicholas. It starts with an S and ends with an E. She? She. Good job, buddy. Okay. She met the mean vet. No, that doesn't make sense. What do you good. think it's going to be? Good. Good, vet. Now, Nicholas, have you been on our classes before? Yes. Nicholas, have you learned about our funny phonograms? No. No. So we have funny phonograms that hide in words. And in this word, there is an O-O. So you can underline it. And our O-O says, ooh. Uh, we'll practice those phonograms in a minute. All right, thanks for your help, Nicholas. All right, one more. We've got another sentence that I need help with because I think one of those kitty cats took them all off. Uh, Dash. Dash. I knew I liked that name. She's, She's calling, calling you. Dash, where do you live? Where do you live? California. You do? You guys are all, I love it. That's why I started this class for you guys and for my really smart kids in my class that needed a kindergarten class. So I'm so glad you could help us. Dash, do you think you can help us today? Can we help? Yeah. Okay. So look at Dash. My kitties took two words off. Are they so silly? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to read the sentence and then you're going to tell me, help me figure out what words are missing. Ready? Blank, dad, blank, be mad. Hmm. Do you see a word that starts with a capital letter dash? What word? Show is it that? to me. Show her. Yes. And I think it was Gianna or Gabriella that told us all sentences have to start with a capital letter. So we know that that word is going to be first, and that's the word our. Now, guys. This is another thing that I need to tell you. O-U is actually a two-letter phonogram, and it says ow, o, oo, uh. Can you try that? Ow, o, oo, 
uh, okay. So O U, you can underline that. All right, Dash, can you help me with the rest of the sentence? Yes. Watch. Yeah. Our dad. Hmm. Do you see a word that starts with an M? Show it. Show it. Let me see. Oh, must. Good job. Let's stick that there. Boys and girls, oh, all of you dad, read this with me. Must Our dad mad. must be mad. Um, go ahead and send Allison names because she's not going to be able to interact with you like I do. Okay. All right. We're going to finish real quick because then we have Miss Allison. And guys, if you have not watched Miss Allison yet, she is crazy funny. Raise your hand if you've seen Miss Allison. Yeah. Raise your hand if you love watching Miss Allison. She is just so silly. She spreads glitter everywhere. But we've got one more sentence to finish, okay? Let's just do this one together. It says, draw a hen, mm, a pen. Go ahead and write, put the word, you guys, that you think belongs there. Okay, I'm going to trick you. I'm going to ask you a bonus question. Ready? Do you see the two-letter phonogram in the word with that goes, mm, the TH, and we're gonna practice those phonograms re right really quick before we go to Miss Allison. All right, here's one thing, boys and girls, listen up. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Have you guys heard about the book charts yet? Have you guys gotten a book chart yet? Okay, I see Dash is really looking at me. At the end of the pot packet that I sent to your parents, there was a book chart, and at our school, we use the book chart every day. So like every activity you do on here, you should put a sticker on your book chart. Every literacy story you write, you should put a sticker on your book chart or read. So what I do is I give the kids a goal on the book chart and every time they read or they do an activity, they put a sticker. I see those looks, Dash. I put, they put a sticker on their book chart and then if they get to their goal, Maybe we'll go get ice cream, or maybe we'll get extra iPad time. So you guys need to ask your parents for that book chart, because parents, that's going to be what is going to really help them when we do extra activities. All right, before we move on, I need everybody to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All right, this time when we do the I say, you say, I'm going to have you jump. Do you think Mr. Andy should jump with you? I think Mr. Andy should jump with you. Okay, Gabriella Reed, is she up? I bet Brody and AD, Gianna, Anaya, Brody, uh, Kinsley and Brinley, Emma, I bet you're all standing up. Okay, and Dash, don't get pouty, I see you. All right, so when I say, I'm gonna say, I say, K, then you're gonna go, K, you're gonna jump. Ready? Let's see it. I say, K, you say, you gotta jump. Good. My turn. I say, mm. you say, okay, you gotta do it twice. Watch. You gotta go, mm. you guys need a little help because Mr. Andy needs a little help. I guess I'm gonna have to model it for you. Ready? Next one. Oh, sitting on a pen. I say, ooh, uh. You say, ooh, uh. Okay, you gotta jump. I say, Oi, you say oi. Okay. I say er like in first. You say er like in first. I say a, you say a. Good. This is a pirate. Ready? Get that pirate face on. I say r. You say r. My chair is like falling off. Oh. This is a hard one because there's three sounds. Ready? Watch me first. I say, ch, k, ch. You say, do it. Ch, k, ch. Awesome. I say, ow, o. Oh. You say, ow, o. Oh. I say, mmm. You say, good. I say, ch. You say, Good. I say E. You say E. Oh, okay, sit down. 
You guys did awesome. I'm so glad that I could interact with you guys. We're gonna go over to Miss Allison, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our handwriting and writing. So get your uh, math activities ready, and then set that handwriting and writing to the side. like right now I'm gonna start right now hi friends how you doing oh, I'm so glad I get to talk about math today with you and numbers I love that all right let's start with a cheer did you all know about our cheers how fun they are yeah I like them all right let's do um it's called the trucker cheer ever ever um done the, tr the trucker cheer don't know this big trucks that bring us all like uh, toilet paper and hand sanitizer lately. They're like those big trucks. All right, so put on your seatbelts, ready? And then remember, they're huge trucks. So when we're driving our trucks like this and we're like, they make, it makes those noises. Remember, they're like And then, you know, when people, when you see people driving by, they do this. And what does that mean? Oh, honk your horn, ready? Honk your horn, go honk, honk. Keep on driving your tracks. All right, now there's these radios that they talk to each other, all the truckers. It's called a CB radio. It's like kind of over here and you put it over to your face and you go, good job, good daughter. They're, all the, they're always Southern. I don't know those truckers. Okay, let's try it again. Ready, seatbelt, zoop. Drive your trucks. Honk your horn. Mine's really big. All right, get your radios out and say, good job, good daughter. I love that. All right, let's get to work. And then I have this um, brain break. We'll, be, we'll do some dancing later. Okay, it's called number of the day. Does everybody have their number of the day? It looks like this. This worksheet, nice, I see. If you don't have it photocopied, um, you can do it later, or you can just get a piece of paper and you can write it with us. So no worries, you can do it later, so, or just follow on. Okay, so number of the day. All right, I have a song, a number of the day, the number of the day. Hey ho, what do you know, the number of the day? What's our number of the day? Hmm. Hmm. Is there an Asher out there, Miss Mr. Andy? Is there an Asher out there? Hi. Maybe. Hang on, I gotta find him. Did we find Asher? Because I think I want to see if Asher knows our number. Yes, I got. It. Hang on, right here. Um, okay, good. He can hear you. He can hear me. Yes. Oh, yeah, sure. It's Miss Allison. What's our number of the day? I Heather, it's a one and a three, but we it has a name. Do you know? Thirteen. It's the number thirteen. You're right. Pat your back and say, oh, I'm awesome. And I'm sure all of you knew that too. Excellent. Way to go. All right. So this is our number of the day. So we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. So get your your um markers out finger and thumb grip we're gonna write we're gonna write it we're gonna write number one and number three all right so we're gonna make it we're gonna go top to bottom Ooh, my marker isn't that great let me get a new one it's it's kind of it's i've been drawing with it too much all right top to bottom and then around the tree around the tree that makes the number 13. Hey, did everyone write it that's make it or write it. All right, over here, did you notice it's called a 10 frame? Do you have, do you see your 10 frame right here? Well, we are so special that we have two 10 frames. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna either, and we have all these red dots. Did you cut them out? I, I hope so, I hope so. If not, we can get to them later. All right, so we're either going to slide them or move them or touch them, all these dots. Yeah, 
So let's move them, okay? And as I move them into the, ten, the 10 frames, can you help me count them? All right, sounds good. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, whew, we made it to ten. Remember, one, we filled one whole ten, ten frame. Let's keep it going because our number of the day is 13. So we're up to 10, 11, 12, 13, whoop, we made it. That was awesome. So, all right, now, when we count, remember, we slow down. Do we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine? Do we count like that? No, no, slow it down. Use your math finger and go to each one because we want to check our answers and make sure we have enough dots. Okay, ready? Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. We've, there's enough dots in there in our 10 frame. So, all right, now we're going to tally it. Now, a tally is just another way of writing a number, right? So there's another song. See, we love the, these songs, ready? This is the new song. The tally is the stick. The tally is the stick. Hi ho, what do you know? A tally's just a stick. It means they're just lines. Okay, so let's tally it. Now we're going all the way to 13. You guys ready? Do we think we can do this? Hmm, Logan, is there a Logan? Do you think we can do it? Logan's ready, right? Yes, you're ready, yep. Logan, you think we can tally it together? Can you tally it together? Yes. Yeah, I, I know you can do it. All right, okay. all right, get your markers. Okay, get do it again, markers. do it again, turn around, do it again right here. Okay, do it right here, go ahead, tell. Sweet, Logan's ready. Okay, ready? We're gonna count and wait, we're gonna put our sticks up and down. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, wait, two, wait, okay. Go three, Four. Oh. When we get to five, so we have to show her what you we did. die. No, we're not done. We're so close. Okay, now when we get to five, when we tally, okay, ready? One, two, three, four. I like to say, cross it. When you get to the number five, we always say, cross it. Okay, you ready? I want you all to do it. Yes, I want you all to do it at the same time. Ready? <laughs> After the number four. One, two, three, four. And what do you say? Cross yeah. it. Yeah. Cross it. Then you're going to cross it like this. Look, see that how you crossed it? See? see? That's how we know this means five. Then I did five. down. Okay. And I go to. She's listening to you. Right? Now, did we make it? Did we make it to 13 yet? Mm. No. We got to do another five. We got to keep on going. <laughs> All right. We're up to five. One, six, seven, four, then we cross die. It. Cross it. We're at our next five. What do we need to do? So cross it. Cross <laughs> it. Cross it. Thanks, Logan. Thanks. All right, cross it. All right, let's go back real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 11, 12, 13. 14. Woo! We tallied a lot, didn't we? Did everyone get that? <laughs> Logan, you're amazing. All right, now, we have two bundles of five and three. That makes 13. Hooray. All right, let's go over to this section right here. It's called one more. One more. So our our number of the day is 13, okay? So we're adding one more, okay? So let's go to our number line, find the number 13, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What's one more? Hmm. Where's Ella? Ella, can you help me? Oh, Ella can help me. <laughs> Do you get it? Oh, Dash knows. Dash knows. I can Hang on. Ella's, Ella's uh, camera's off. So oh, okay. Anna, Anna knows the answer. Oh, yeah. I can see Anna right now. So, Anna, if our number is 13, what's one more? 14. Yes. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. That was amazing. All right, so one more. So if you said, you can make that a, pro a math problem, because we're amazing, okay? We're gonna write the number 13 here, plus one equals, what is it? 14! One and a four. We just did a math problem. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. All right, now we're over here, it says one less. This time we're gonna subtract, we're gonna take away, okay? So we're gonna write the number 13 here, and we're gonna make our subtraction sign. So let's find the number 13 again, 13. Now we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back. So let's see, who is Asher around? Where's Asher? Hmm. Let's call on. Yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, let's try Antonio. <gasps> Antonio. Antonio. So if we were at 13 and we're going backwards, one, what would be our number? We're going to hop. Antonio. <laughs> you got it? He's unmuted. Antonio, can you hear us? There he is. Antonio. How are you doing? So if we're at number 13 and we're going backwards, we're minusing, what number would be that be? 12. Yes, it is. It's 12. So we're going to go back to one last. 13 minus 1 equals 12. 12. We just did another math problem. That's like mind blowing. Everyone show me mind blowing. You just blew my mind. You blew my mind. That was amazing. All right, so we're gonna do over, now we're gonna go over to this section. It's called even or odd. Even or odd, okay? Now, we're gonna find out if the number 13 is an even number or an odd number. Okay, now, even numbers. Let's see, always has a friend. It always has a friend. So this is an even number. Put two little, this is our clue. Two little dots. Even numbers always has a friend with them, okay? And uh, odd numbers are, they, they never have a friend. There's just, they're just by themselves, okay? So now we're gonna draw it out and we're gonna find out if if they're an even Steven who has a friend or he's an odd Todd and he doesn't have a friend. So, all right, let me get a different color so we can make sure we see everything. Okay, let's count. Ready? Well, we're gonna make little circles. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and our number of the day is what? Thirteen. Does the number thirteen have a friend? No, he's a He's an odd Todd, right? Number 13, all right? Number 13 is odd. That's what we can write there. Because he doesn't have a friend, poor 13. Hmm. So, all right. Now that we know that 13 is an odd number, 
we're going to come over here at these three circles. Okay, it's called a number frame. It's called a number frame. Does everybody find their number frame, this box? Now, we know you can either write it or you can, I have special numbers I can put it in, but you can do some writing. Now, we know the number of the day is what number? What number? Is the number 13. The number of the day is 13. So we're going to put number 13 in this circle right here, right in there. Okay. Now, we're in these two circles. It's going to equal 13 in the end. You guys ready? Now, I'm going to pick up two numbers that if we add them together, they're going to make the number 13. You ready? First, I'm going to put the number 10. And then I'm going to put the number three in the bottom circle. So 10 and 13 make, I mean, 10 and three make 13. Should we check our answers? Should we check, check our answers? Yes. All right. Right here, we're going to start at the number one. Let's count to 10 and then freeze. And then we'll count three more. Ready? One, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna add three more. One, two, three. And what number are we on? 13. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love math. Math is amazing. Math is amazing. All right, now, before we go, this is called our number line to remind you. Number line. Now, which one, now that we know that 13 is our magic number, the number of the day, I'm going to get two numbers that are, which one is the closest to 13? I'm going to put two different numbers. Okay. And then maybe Mr. Andy, maybe you can help me pick someone that might know what's the closest to 13. Okay. I have the number 12. And then I have the number seven. How about Grace? Great. Grace, which one's closest to 13? Closest to 12. 12. Is it 12 or seven? 12. Say it loud. Yes, you're exactly right. Yes, it's closer to, because it's, remember if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's just one away. Isn't that amazing? Yay. All right, next, I'm gonna try to, like, let me see if I can trick you again. Okay. okay, which one is the closest to, I'm trying to pick my numbers, hold on. Which one's the closest to 13? Five or 11? Five or 11, hmm. Mr. Andy, who do you think just knows it? It's like on the tip of their tongue. Which one's the closest to 11? I mean, to a 13. Uh, let's go to. Who, is Who said that? Grace? Sorry. Um, <laughs> Ella, Ella raised her hand. Uh, go ahead, Ella Jennings. One. 11. Yes! One, one. Yeah, it's 11. It's closest to 13. All right, last time. We're going to do it one more. Okay, ready? Which one's closest to 13? Ready? Number eight or number two? You guys got this, nailed it. I can totally see. Number two or eight, which one's closest to 13? Ella, go ahead and say it. Eight. Yes, yes, you guys are rocking it. You guys are rocking it. Okay, before we get on to our, um, we're gonna dance. I think I'm ready to dance pretty soon. Um, before we do it, let's do some greater than or less than, okay? Now, one. If I put the number, let's see, four, or I put the number seven, which one's more? Which one's more? Anybody know? Which one's more? Is it four or seven? Okay. 
How about Kinsley? Kinsley, which one's four? Four or seven? Seven. Seven, yeah. So I'm going to take my alligator. My alligator. I just happen to have an alligator puppet. I love a good toy. Why not? I have my alligator. Look at he's like super mean, I think. Ah, so this is our alligator. So the alligator is making that greater than sign. Now you have the greater than, than sign on your paper, but you want to put seven is greater than four, right? Because that alligator wants to eat more fish in that pond, right? Seven, there's a lot more, there's a lot. So you can, if you have the number four on your own, you wanna make that sign, that symbol just like that. Right, greater than, greater than. All right, now let's do another one. All right, I'll put two more. And then we'll, let's, let's dance, okay? Uh-huh, uh, all right, now, I just wrote with a Sharpie. Don't ever do that in your race board. Don't ever do that. So, so we're gonna have to do it way over. Okay, so if I put, let's see, let's see. If I put the number 10, and then I put the number uh, two, which way, we're not gonna like look at that one because I'm gonna put a little post it over so you don't get confused. So which one is greater than in this? Is it 10 or two? Ariana. Okay. Ariana, is 10 or two greater than or less than? Which bigger number? I'm trying to say. Yeah, I got that. Is it 10 or two? Ariana. It, it's killing me, but I think it's... You got to talk a little louder, Ariana. <laughs> it's the number, it's 10 is greater. 10 is greater. So your sign is going to go like this. It's going to, that alligator is going to eat up. So you're going to make your symbol greater than going this way, right? Now, if you want to be fun, you can put your teeth and you can put your little eyeballs, right? My, my alligators always look a little crazy, if you know what I say. All right, I think it's time. I think it's time to dance. You guys ready to dance? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, now, I'm gonna put that back down. Now, there is, a, we're gonna to count to 100. Okay, you guys ready? It's, uh, his name is Mark Harmon. He's really funny. He's a funny guy. Let me make sure my, my speaker is on. And that you can stand up or you can like sit in your chair and do it. I'd rather you stand up because I think you need to stretch. Stretch it up. So let me get my camera up a little bit more too. Okay, ready? Now first we're just gonna dance. We're gonna dance it up and get our wiggles out. Ready? Oh. Okay, ready? Okay, I need both hands for this. Okay, ready? We're gonna exercise and then we're gonna count at the same time. You ready? We're gonna stretch our arms. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your leg. Stretch your leg. My, my, it's down this way. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going to pump like we're in Jersey. 22, 30, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30. Stretch your arms. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 8, 39, 40. Oh, just your shoulders. This feels good. 42, 43, 44, 45, 6, 47, 48, 49, oh, 50. Oh, we're going to punch now. Watch out for your friends, your moms. 
54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Windmills. Windmills. Oh, here we go. 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Oh, we're at 70. Thank God. Okay, just walk it out. Walk it out. 1, 72, 73, 74, 75, 6, 77, 78, 79. Okay, we're going to run now. Now jog in place. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. We're going to clap. Ready? 1, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. 97, 98, 99, 100. All right, just dance. Count to 100 every day. Keep All right. I like the robot. Ready? Let it Have some fun. Count to 100. Ready? One, just one. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> oh, okay. Now that was super fun. All right, everyone, sit down. Uh, get a cold drink if you're like Miss Allison because that was a lot. Oop, where'd I go? Wee, that was awesome. Everyone have a seat. I'm glad you guys were dancing. You guys are awesome, by the way. All right. New, our new um, worksheet. It's called Frog Hop. Did anyone, everyone has a frog hop? Everyone has a frog hop? Get them, get them out. Get your, um, um, get your, all your stuff. My frog hop, it was hiding, it was hiding underneath here. Okay. Oh, this is a good view. Sorry guys. My hips. Okay. Um, I just happened to have a little frog. Wait, let me see, make sure you can see it. <gasps> see my little frog hop? Boop, 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 boop. So this is what we're going to do. There's all these number lines you should have. <clears throat> A number line like this and we're gonna read it and we're gonna circle now this little froggy is gonna hop now you can write it with your markers or things like that I just thought it'd be really fun to have this little froggy here right let me make sure you all can see me how's that all right now our froggy's gonna start on our first one we're gonna he's gonna start on number seven Everyone find number seven. You can find it with your finger or your marker, whatever, whatever is your favorite math finger. I just thought it'd be fun. I have the frog. Now it says we're gonna start on number seven and we're gonna hop back three. Ready? Let's hop back. One, two, three. So uh, what's the number that we hopped on? What's the number? Did you say four? Four! Wee! All right, so you make sure with your marker. So we found out it was number four. So circle it. Circle number four. It's right here. You can circle it, you can color it in, whatever you want to do. Yeah! Exit, whatever, whatever you want to do. It's amazing. All right, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> you ready? We start at number five. Everyone find in your next, your next uh, number line, number five. Ready? Now, he's going to hop back one. He's going to hop back one. Ready? Just hop him back. Boop. What number did we get again? Four. This is like the four, the two times in a row we get the number four. All right? So once again, four is right here. Now you can circle it. You can do it. I'm just going to put a little dot. <clears throat> That's awesome. Everyone got it? You guys are superstars. I, I love working with you. I love math. Okay. Our third one is find number six. Find number six. Now we're going to hop back two times this time. Okay. Ready? One, two. Is this the number four again? That is so silly. Hop back two. This is our third four in a row. That is crazy. All right, number four. <laughs> Put a number dot. 
Sweet. All right. Now, next one, our last one. We're going to find number nine. And <laughs> we're going to hop back four. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Is it number four this time? No, trick does. It's number five. Number five. Find your number five and make a little dot. Wee, that's awesome. You guys are amazing. Now, now there's three more problems. Let's say one, two, three, four. Now there is three more problems. Now, Miss Karen, we could keep going or they could do it on their own. I think they're big enough that they yeah. can do it on their own. Right, guys? Yeah. So you guys are doing a great job. Um, so it is already past four o'clock. Can you believe that? It's Maybe. already done. Do you guys want me to do handwriting or do you want to wait for a different day? So put your thumb up if you want to do handwriting. Okay. Um, Mr. Andy's going to come back and I'm going to do handwriting for you guys. So get your handwriting sheet out. Okay. Everybody say thanks, Miss Allison. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is me going in overtime. So just, you know, <laughs> just kidding. All right. So we're going to do handwriting and move over. <laughs> So, before we go, Miss Karen, can we do a cheer before we go? Yeah. Great idea. All right, let's do a cheer. Okay. I think we should do uh, the firework cheer. Ready? Fireworks or I love fireworks, right? Let's do it. Okay, fireworks, you put your hands together and you start super low. And you know those crazy fireworks that do like this? They go like this. And then when they get really high, they, you clap your hands, and then you, they fall down and they go, oh. Let's do that one again. Ready? It's like the fishy ones. Oh. That was magical. You guys are awesome. All right. Are we ready to go, or do, can we do one more? I loved I could talk to you guys all day, all day long. We are good. Thank you. All right. I'm with Karen. I'm side. Yeah. I do. I look sideways, everybody. How'd you do that? I'm gonna do handwriting sideways. <laughs> How fun would that be? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So as we do this every time, I'm gonna tell you to put your hands on your your head because. I have some of my friends out there that we do handwriting every day in school. And every time I say to do one, they always go ahead of me. So we're gonna practice about two or three of each of them and then um, we'll be done for the day. So everybody put your hands on your head. That way I know you're watching me, okay? I'm doing the first one, watch. The first one is the B. Remember a B has a B, B belly, so it's Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a belly. Okay, pick up your pencil, follow along with my words, and say it if you can. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a belly. Do another one. We're going to do three, and then you're going to circle the best one. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a belly. Okay, do one more. Make sure it touches the bottom line. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a belly. All right, great. Circle your best one. Put your pencil down. Put your hands on your head. And I just sent this to um, one of the, my followers. Parents, I don't know if you can see this, but this is called Right stuff like R W R I T E. Sorry, right size. These are my absolute favorite pencils. My teachers have never seen them because they're so expensive that I sometimes only get them for my class. But if you're looking for pencils that are appropriate for your kid's um, hand, and they actually write really dark. I love these, right? I'll post it on my Instagram, but right size. All right, there goes my ADD moving on to other things. All right. 
The next one is, oh, hands on your head. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a dot. Keep your hands on your head. This is what I do not want to see. I don't want to see a straight line and then this big bubble. There are no bubbles above our eyes. I want a little dot. Okay, grab your pencil. You're gonna do three of them, ready? Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a dot. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a dot. Last one, nice and straight lines, you guys. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a dot. And now circle your best one. Okay, hands on your head. Watch me. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a hump. So I do not lift my pencil. Get your pencil. Three, nice and slow, you guys. Do it as slow as I'm saying it. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a hump. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a hump. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a hump. All right, great. The last, the next one, I don't know what I said for you. I don't have the paper in front of me, but I'm just gonna wing it. All right, hands on your head. Short line down, touch the bottom line, straight line down. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's really like nothing else we make. So again, it's short line down, touch the bottom line, come up, straight line down. Okay, get your pencil. Short line down, touch that bottom line, come up, straight line down. Do another one. Short line down, touch that bottom line, come up, straight line down. Make it sure it's nice and straight. Last one. Short line down, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Okay, circle your best one. Now, you guys put your hands on your head because I want to talk to you about this P because you guys usually make your peas flying. Like, where are your peas going? Where are they flying to? So I'm gonna do it up here so I've got a little more room. Put your hands on your pencil. Put your hands on your head. So just like a bee has a b, -b belly, a pea has a p, p pot belly. How silly is that? So watch me. Short line down past the bottom line, come up and make a pot belly. Okay, get your pencil. Short line down, past the bottom line, come up and make a pot belly. Do another one. Short line down, past the bottom line, come up and make a pot belly. You see me doing it with my hand? Like, I can't not do it. Short line down, past that bottom line, don't lift your pencil, come back up and make that pot belly. Okay, circle your best one. Listen, ask your parents about those book charts because that's gonna help you guys get prizes or extra iPad time for all the hard work you're doing because you should be getting something because you're working so hard. All right, we will see you tomorrow. I would love parents um, on my messages. I'd love to hear how it went with in, like interacting with the kids. I wanna make sure that with interacting with them, it didn't make other ones get distracted or it actually made them like interact more because they were excited to see if their name was called. So if you have time, Reading Corner Online, I'd love some feedback about that. I loved it. Like I loved being able to interact with the kids and see them. So I'm hoping we can continue that. As always, please, 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 this is a free class. It'll always stay free throughout the summer. But if you could just tag us at Reading Corner Online, tell your friends about us. We're doing giveaways. Um, I'm just about to put our whole literacy bundle as our next giveaway. It's going to go up in about 15 minutes on Instagram at Reading Corner Online. So that is definitely, definitely, definitely ones for this age of group kids that you're going to want to get. It's going to be reading um, resources until they're probably mid first grade. So miss you guys. So glad for the other kids that could join us from like Canada and Rhode Island and Michigan and California. And we will see you guys tomorrow.